I'm Sherry. This is my daughter Ruby, and uh, Ruby has PANDAS. PANDAS initially stands for Pediatric Autoimmune Neurological Disorder Associated with Strep. Except in Ruby's case, she didn't get it from strep. She got it from walking pneumonia that she had when she was 16 years old. And when she recovered from the walking pneumonia, she was left with these ticks and twitches. That happened when she was 16 years old, which was th over three and a half years ago. Yeah, I'm 19 now. <laughs> so at this point, she is twitching again. She hasn't been twitching for a while because she did receive treatment for PANDAS. Now she's twitching again, and we believe it's from mono that she just kind of went through and she got well from, and now we think that mono has caused her to twitch again. Pandas is something that can be triggered by anything that could possibly cause a fever. Which means it's more than just strep. That's true. It can really be a number of different things, many, many different things. Um, it can also cause many, many different kinds of symptoms. In Ruby's case, she has twitches, she claps her hands. Uh, in the past, I would have strange um, sort of personality shifts. I would suddenly embody this one emotion. I would be incredibly happy or really sad. Or I would sometimes regress to a four or even two-year-old, or to the behavior of a four or two-year-old. And, um, or I would act drunk, really. That was probably one of the more interesting ones. <laughs> they were symptoms that sometimes people would look at and think of schizophrenia. Um, so there's really a number of neurological disorders that can be brought about with this PANDAS issue. The good news is, is that it can be treated with antibiotics and something else called an IVIG treatment, which we're thinking that Ruby probably needs another one at this point. I'm still on the antibiotics, but um, they're not really doing the job for the mono, we suspect. Well, we just really want people to know about this disorder. Um, we know that it's been classified as this very mysterious illness it's not a mysterious illness. It was a mysterious illness when th th we were told about when Ruby was first sick. It took a very long time to get her diagnosed with PANDAS. Two years, to be exact. You have to find the right doctor. She was first diagnosed with conversion disorder, which we were not interested in that idea at all. No. We kept searching and searching, finally found the right doctor. He diagnosed her with PANDAS, started treating her immediately, and she started to get well. So. It may be something where she has to deal with for the rest of her life. We don't know. Nobody really knows. It might be a condition where she'll take the antibiotics, she'll get better, and then any time she finds kind of a weird infectious trigger, like mono, um, it'll come back on her again. So uh, we're going to see the doctor in two days, and uh, hopefully he'll have a really good idea of something else we can try. Yeah. Uh, should we talk a little bit more about the IVIG? I mean, that's the number one thing a lot of people have been talking about. Okay, well, IVIG is, um, stands for intravenous immunoglobin. And what that means is, is that they've taken antibodies out of the blood of thousands of people that have donated their blood, and they combine these antibodies into um, several IV bags. And over the course of many, many hours, um, you're generally hospitalized for this. Yeah, for three days. That usually lasts about. They give you different bags of IVs, and um, you just lay there, and it seeps into your body. And I guess the idea is that all those brand new antibodies entering your system overwhelm the antibodies that are apparently causing this problem. It gives your antibodies a break, actually. So PANDAS is an autoimmune disorder. Um, and we believe what has happened is that when Ruby got walking pneumonia, she developed antibodies to fight off the mycoplasma that caused the walking pneumonia, and then the antibodies somehow crossed the br blood-brain barrier and um, started attacking the basal ganglia, which in the brain controls movement. <laughs> so... Um, it's a very difficult thing to deal with um, when you're twitching so badly, such as she is. Um, but the doctor gave her 
antibiotics to fight off the macoplasma, and that really, really slowed down her twitching to the point where she was hardly doing it at all. Um, the fact that it's built up so much now and she's doing it constantly is um, a bit upsetting, but um, we're pretty confident that we're going to um, be able to take care of it rather quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So, if you know somebody who's twitching like this, please let them know you have to find a doctor who specializes in pandas. And... Um, they, there's really so many things they can do to help. Don't be frightened by this. We can get rid of it. We can have her repaired. We've done it before. We've done it before. We'll do it again. But thank you for listening. And if you wish to message us, you can always message us on, yes. our YouTube, on the YouTube account. We will respond. Thank we would be more than happy to talk to you. Trust me, it's been over three years, and it. I've only just started talking to other people, to other kids, uh, or even like guys that are older than me that have pandas. And trust me, I'm excited <laughs> just to find out that other people have this. Mm. It's not a mysterious illness we've discovered. It's something fairly common. That's it. Thank you.